Um, of course, our MPs in Cambridgeshire, they too will have been scouring the new maps of constituencies, finding out what it means for their patch and in some cases their job. Uh, Heidi Allen, the MP for South Cambridgeshire, joins me now. Morning, Heidi. Hello, Dottie. So you could lose Bassingbourne and Melbourne, but gain Fullbourne and the Offords. It kind of sounds like a game of, of constituency top trumps, but of course these, these are real places and they're, they're filled with your voters. Absolutely. It's, um, I've been staring at the map since I got it yesterday. Um, as I'm sure you've already discussed on the programme, I didn't catch all of the previous article, but it's, it's to do with numbers, particularly in our part of the world where the population is growing so heavily. So Huntingdon needs to, Jonathan Janogla's seat needs to lose some, so I pick up a little bit of his, um, the offer to Abbotsley Wersley up in the northwest, And as a consequence, then I have to lose stuff at the bottom. So Battingbourne, the Slington, the Mordens, um, Mel- Melbourne was a real shock for me. Um, I pick up Linton and Fullbourne, but a real big disappointment is I lose my little piece of the city, Queen Edith, which um, I've really, really enjoyed representing um, because it gives me d- such a different view from what is predominantly rural South Cambridgeshire. And I'd be very, very sad, all those nurses and doctors in Addenbrooke might lose all of that. So really quite disappointed, actually. And what do you think it could mean for people, say, in, in Bassingbourne and Melbourne, who are going to be geographically Cambridgeshire, and in terms of, of district council and county council, they are still Cambridgeshire, mm. but in terms of, of MP, they're going to be part of Hertfordshire? That's right. Um, so that would be Oliver Heald's seat would extend a little bit. I think, um, yes, it's going to be a little bit confusing from a council point of view, although I have to say... My constituents in, in Queen Edith, just using that example, they came into the city for the council, but county for Cambridgeshire and me for South Cams. You know, people do adjust. And interestingly, particularly in the south of constituency, I mean, you know, a lot of people read the Royston Crow. There is a, quite a draw, particularly to Royston Station. So I don't think people perhaps, I mean, I'll need to chat to them, but I, I suspect people won't feel quite such a disconnect there because of that natural draw with Royston. But yeah, it's going to be a change for people. There are certainly uh, parts of, of your constituency where even in the relatively short space of time that you've been an MP, I think local people would say that you have spoken up for them on local issues, whether they agree or not with, with what you're saying is a matter for them. But Bassingbourne, the whole story with the barracks, I mean, you could lose all of those people. They could be represented by, by someone else who doesn't know their story, who, who doesn't know the local issues. Well, I mean, that would be part of, you know, if, I mean, of course, these things have to be approved as the consultation period now. But if they are, then I would make sure that I spent some time with all the surrounding MPs who are, you know, taking some of my precious bits, if you like, and explain to them the issues. I think Bassingbourne, obviously, because it reached the national headlines, I think Oliver will be very, very aware of what happened in Bassingbourne. But equally, you know, for Fullbourne and Linton, I'm going to have to chat to Lucy to understand the issues there because they're not, um, they're not villages that I'm familiar with at the moment. And Heidi, just before we let you go, if we could just ask you one question about the other big story that's dominating the papers this morning. David Cameron resigning as an MP. What's your reaction to that? Not shocked, to be honest. Um, I thought he might wait until 2020. But, you know, how, if you've been the Prime Minister, how can you sit on the back benches? You know, every time he's in the chamber, all the journalists are tweeting, look who's here, look who's here, and it just takes the attention away from the debate. So I think actually he's probably made the right decision. Heidi, good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Heidi Allen there, who is the MP.